Well, it's one of the biggest hit shows on Netflix, Selling Sunset, which brings the high glamour world of selling Los Angeles real estate along with plenty of drama. As Jillian Lopez found out when she sat down with one of the show's stars, Chris Shell, to talk about season three. With real estate, you can't sit around and wait for the phone to ring. You have to hustle. And that's exactly what the women of the Oppenheimer group do. They hustle. I have a new man, I have a new ring. Selling Sunset follows along with girl boss real estate agents in the heart of Los Angeles. And with two successful seasons under their belt, season three launches in August. Well, congratulations on two successful seasons. I'm loving the show. How does it feel to know that everybody is loving the show? It was just kind of like a, a wave. It was so crazy. I mean, when it hit, it was um, way more than I think anyone expected. So that was a pleasant surprise. So much work that goes on behind the scenes, you know, with selling these homes that, you know, hours and hours and hours of work that, you know, obviously isn't going to make the show. So, um, yeah, it was, everyone was just super excited and um, that it found its audience and people were excited about it. So it's been really great. It was so fast. Everyone's like, oh, Christine's engaged. And so I Nothing her. is off limits. The girls' personal lives are on full display and there's no holding back next season. So definitely, uh, definitely the drama is heightened uh, for sure. But it also offers a behind-the-scenes look into the real estate industry in L.A., where lots of contracts and NDAs are involved. Yeah, you know, a lot of times or we'll be working with a client, and it's somebody that, you know, everybody would love to know who it is, and unfortunately we signed an NDA. And so there are a lot of things like that where, uh, you know, it would be exciting. And I've had a client that really would have wanted to, but unfortunately she couldn't because of uh, her contract. Okay, so you were the new girl to the office when season one of Selling Sunset started, and you've really stood your ground, especially through season two. Would you say that you've always been like that? I mean, I really, truly wish I could tell you that I have always been like that, but that would be a big lie. Um, you know, I, I think in life, we kind of like big things happen, and then you learn that lesson, and so slowly you, you, you know, learn these lessons along the way. And, um, you know, filming the show season one was a big lesson for me, and I learned a lot. Chriselle has really opened up her personal life for the viewers to see, which can be tough to watch back, but she's always focusing on the positives. I don't mean, like, watching it, like, with a viewing party and lots of friends. It's not going to be that kind of a season for me personally, but I am proud of all the things that we accomplished on the show, and so much hard work went into it, so... Um, you know, I, I'm going to just try and focus on the positives and, you know, promote the things I'm really proud of. And, um, and for, for those things, there are a lot. So I'm lucky. Well, Chriselle, thank you so much for taking the time. And I am so excited for the next season to start. Everyone, mark your calendars, August 7th, Selling Sunset, season three. August 7th, August 7th, that's right. I know. I watch it too, and Chriselle's my favorite. So great interview, Jillian. We can't wait to see that.